Hey, hey, good morning. Well, we've got our goats all sorted to haul to the sale. And we've had a slight setback. We're going to be unable to do that. Well, we've got a surprise this morning. They look like they're dry, so she's dried them off. Had them on the coldest night that I think we're gonna have, probably. She's got them there. She had them probably in this thick cover right here. a Little bit out of the elements. Anyway, though, they both look very healthy. She's doing her job. It's a pleasant surprise. Let's go check on the little billy kids and make sure they're all right. Well, there they are. Some of them. Some of them are over here under this brush. That's okay though. I'm gonna swing over there and check them out. We're gonna come down here and feed the little billies. I was gonna sell them today, but I've backed off of that because of the weather. On the 22nd, 2, 22, 22, we had twins. The next day we had two more sets of twins and one single. This was the first morning that it wasn't freezing. They've got access to a couple of barns and they don't think that's a good place. She's not in the barn, but she sure is close. We'll give her a bonus for being close. Need a visor? Yeah. What are we doing today? We're going to get the girls to move them into their first pasture for rotation. Rotational grazing for the summer. <laughs> Is that it? Um, yeah. Right? Any any issues that we can There's have? some cows in the corner over here that I'm going to go see if I can round up. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do today is we, we were already set that we needed to move them back and start the, the summer rotation before the parasites become an issue, we want to get in that rotation system. So that's what we're trying to do. Now, the issue we have is we've got kids on the ground already, and we're going to have to move them a decent distance. That is not ideal. We've probably got 10 to 15 on the ground or so. We just need to go ahead and get them, get them into it and get started on the rotation. Lisa's going to, she said she's going to go move some cows that are kind of in our, in our way and get them out of our way and then we're going to get down there and start moving them. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life
Okay, that's the last bit of corn that I'll give these, and I didn't give them very much. But like I say, these are the ones that haven't kitted yet. Indy, how was the run, girl? Red, you're supposed to be in there with the billy. White, what do you think? We think there's probably 30 or so that have kitted. The ones that we left down there, we're gonna leave them until there's a certain amount of assurance that we think the babies will make the trip and, and make the trip with their mama. And we may end up hauling the trailer down there and loading them and, and hauling them. Everything went good? Sam stayed behind. Have That's you, good, we gotta get one have more. Have you ever realized that Every time we move the goat, Sam always is the one that stays behind. We yeah. usually have to look for him the next day, so that's a good thing. It is. I think he's lazy. Well, he may have a touch of lazy, but if that <laughs> means that he'll stay with the goats, that's yeah. good. He did. Where are the rest of the goats? Did this, you not get around them? This is them. This was all of them? Yeah. There's some off in that ditch. Are we going to try and take another dog back down? Yes. Which one? Whichever one you can carry. Which one do you want to carry? White looks the thinnest. Betsy? I don't know. I wouldn't Red, maybe. Indy's oh, Indy. Blue? Blue is really the only one we can take, and he's probably not going to stay. So you're going to carry him? I'm going to bring him to your four-wheeler, and you're going to hold him and haul him down there. Across my lap. Here's the fence. But this is the one spot that I'm hoping I don't have an issue. Oh. <laughs> can anybody tell me why? Of course you're gonna huh? have an issue. Can you there. tell me why? Yeah. Why? You want me to show you? Yeah, you show me. I dare you. Brett, are you serious? You really think this is not gonna be a problem? Hey now, don't you break it on my fence. Yeah, it's gonna break if I get on it. Here's the question. You wanna make a wager? You think this is going to be a problem because you think the goats are going to come down here and they're going to go up that tree or more likely from the other and then side. be on the other side. More likely okay, so if you think that's going to be a problem, do you? Yeah. Well, what's, what do you want to bet? Lunch? They're going to be in here for five to seven days. And if they don't get out right here, we'll have to try to get a game camera or something set up. But if they don't get out right here, then Lisa owes me lunch, which that means she doesn't lose much of anything. Do I have to cook it? She makes it? lunch for me anyway. Do I have to cook it or buy it? That's the question. You got to cook it. Okay. Oh, well, that's easy for you then. You're going to buy it. No, I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to cook it. Oh, okay. You don't know how to cook. I can cook. Once, mm -hmm. if I lose, I'll cook you lunch. And it'll be something good, but it will be something that I like. <laughs> Deal? Yeah. There's the shake. That's the witness. So we went home and got a collar and a rope so we can catch Blue and get him loaded on the four-wheeler. But now we can't find him. And I think, <laughs> I think we need to go check the log. <laughs> he didn't climb over that log. I think the goats did. <laughs> I think. He followed him. <laughs> There's a goat standing on that tree right now. Boo. <laughs> Made you look. <laughs> oh, what a big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a big boy. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Load up, buddy. You ready with the door, Mom? I don't think I can lift you for a fourth time today. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I got that a boy. Good boy. Good boy.
We've got the camera set up. I've got the camera set up on the infamous tree. We'll be able to see hopefully video of anything that climbs up over there and comes all the way down. Now they've got to jump off. They got to touch the ground on the other side. Otherwise it's no deal. She still has to cook lunch. But if they jump off on the other side and we see them, then I have to cook lunch. Hey, good morning. It is the day after we put the nannies down here in the, in the new paddock. And so I need to come down through here and make sure that we don't have any that are bagged up or looking for a baby. We felt pretty good about it, but you know, you never know. So anyway, the first thing I need to do since these goats are down here next to this electric fence is I need to test the fence and make sure it's no, make sure it has no problems this morning. But as long as they didn't go over the, the pecan tree that Lisa and I have the little wager on, I'm good. We loaded Blue up and took him down there to stay with uh, Sam because we needed a uh, experienced dog down there with him. And he's back over here this morning. Lisa's gonna come down in the flatbed. I'm gonna throw him in the back seat and she's gonna haul him down there and put him back out with the uh, nannies and all the babies that we left down there. Now see, this is how you ensure you can find matching drops. You just put a little poly wire on them and then turn them back loose. And that way when they drop them, see they're right there. They're right there together. That's the easiest way to do that. Just a little tip for you shed hunters out there. Works every time. Hardest part is catching them. Well, here's the next morning. Three. Or as my mother-in-law says, three. Mr. Blue, he's back down here. Let's just hope Sam does his job for another week. Well, while I was down here gathering the cows, I, I swung, swang. I drove over here to a uh, big fallen tree. Uh, I stopped the other day and all I could see were honeycombs. I didn't have any activity, but I'm down here right now. That's a good thing. We're not beekeepers, but I really like seeing something like that. <laughs> 